Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to enable music while playing other apps and games on your modded PlayStation Vita. This does work with um, other apps such as, you know, Adrenaline, RetroArch, and any other system app on your Vita. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. The actual plugin itself is called Music Premium. But with that being all out the way, we're just going to go ahead and start on today's prerequisites. Anything that I state and any useful links or guides or even like the actual source code will be in the link in the description down below but first things first you need a modded playstation vita that is already hacked so whether if you're using the trinity hankaku age on core age on core 2 exploit as long as your playstation vita can run unsigned code you're basically good to go for this process as well as long as you between firmware 3.60 to 3.73 you could um you know run this plugin um, so for example for today I'm using my PlayStation Vita 1000 that is on Hankaku Enzo 3.60 firmware um, as well for today you need the latest build of Vita Shell I uh, will have that in the link in the description down below I think we're on 2.00 version uh, for that you'll also need the latest build of auto plugin .vbk, and this is how we're going to actually install the music premium plugin itself and as well you'll need either files that left to be client or a USB charging cable depending on how you want to transfer your music file as well as auto plugin but for today um as well you also need music so make sure um if you're trying to add a lot of songs go ahead and just create a folder for that i'll explain more on how to do that on the pc side of things later on to this tutorial but make sure um all your music is either in a dot wave format or a dot mp3 just for this process if you're trying to add a lot of music just for today i'll just add one song just for you know tutorial purposes but with that all getting out the way i want to give a special thanks out to guevo virus or sueva virus sorry if i did butcher your name but shout out to you for creating this plugin um i think it's really awesome that now we can use you know music within any app of the vita but with that being said if you guys do need any help on this process make sure to join my discord but with that being said let's go ahead on the pc side of things and get this started Alrighty, everybody assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro we're basically good to go for this process and now we could get started on the vita side of things first so as showcased here i'm basically on my vita i'm already assuming for this process that you already have vita shell installed onto your device once you have um you know vita shell on your device all you got to do is open it if you don't already have vita shell i will have the actual vbk in the link in the description down below but what you need to do as of right now is go into vita shell hit start so the depending on how you're going to be transferring your files over today i do recommend using usb mode even though for today i'm using ftp since if you're going to be transferring a lot of music files over i'm um, going be much faster using a usb connection rather than um you know a wi-fi connection via with a ftp server transfer so, but depending on how you want to do this i'm just going to toggle over to ftp make sure if you're using a usb cable just use usb but what we're going to do now is hit select onto our device once you hit select it either will connect to your pc via a usb cable or it'll just shoot a ftp server um you know it's running a server in the background so here's my ftp uh, server running now as showcased here, what I'm going to do is go to my PC, make sure you guys, if you're running an FTP server, just don't touch your Vita as of right now, remember your IP address and your port. But what we're going to do is get our files transfer over via with Vita shell. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on setting up the music side of things. Alrighty, assuming that you did follow everything on the Vita side of things and you got Vita Shell booted up onto your device, whether if you're connecting a USB cable to your PC to transfer your files over or you're running an FTP server like me and you're going to be transferring your stuff over Wi-Fi, what we need to do now in the link in the description down below, go ahead and download the latest build of Auto Plugin. If you already have Auto Plugin installed, then you can, you know, skip this step, but this is just for people that may not have Auto Plugin for today's video. All you gotta do once it's downloaded to your desktop you'll also need to create a new folder just right click on your desktop create new and you want to label as import underscore music the way i have it here so i'm just going to delete that but make sure you you know type your folder just as you know i have it here and then you want to go ahead and put all your music into this one directory here so i have some songs i've collected you know just for this process and what we're going to be doing is transferring this over with files of ftp client mind you like i stated before mp3s work i think dot aac's work and as well as dot wave files work anything else 
else i'm not too sure so if you guys want to experiment with something like .flac or flac files or anything like that you can but i already know off the back mp3 and .waves are fine anything else is kind of like you know testing the waters but with that being out the way what you want to do is in this import underscore music folder you just created dump all your music into one content so it's in nice and neat but what we're going to do now is go ahead and open up files of the f3 client if you're using your uh usb charging cable um it'll already you know be set up to transfer your file so just follow along where i have my partitions at or where we're going to place our files at but what we need to do um, is open up files of the FCB client. If you don't already have this, um, I'll have that in the link in the description down below. But what we need to do is type in our IP address via in the host section right here. So I already got started on that. Yours will be different. And then just type in your PSPs, or not PSPs, but the PS Vitas port, which is one through three seven. So that's always the same. All you gotta do is hit quick connect. And then once you hit quick connect onto your device as well, all you gotta do is take auto plugin, your import music folder and drag it into UX zero. So once you mount your folder over, um, or if you're doing this on a USB charging cable, just it's already on UX zero. So you just gotta drag and drop onto the root of your folder. But right now it's transferring my music. Of course, if you're doing a lot of songs, I do recommend going and, you know, using the USB method, but once it's fully done and, you know, good to go, uh, what we're going to do is just verify in UX zero right now, our music is successfully transferred over. And then we're going to go to the Vita, get auto plugin installed and then get our music application, our, our music installed as well. So just waiting for it, the last song to transfer over. Um, all right, so it's fully done. If you're using files of the FTP client like me, it will state that all your transfers are done. All you gotta do is go into UX zero. And I like to always check that, you know, my files are into a direct location before going over to any device. So all my music's here. If I go into UX zero, you can see that we have auto plugin .vbk here. So once you, you know, verify your music and your auto plugin .vbk is into your memory card, AKA UX zero, you can close out of FileZilla and then we could go back to the Vita itself. Alrighty, once you're in um, FileZilla again, or excuse me, not FileZilla, but once you're in VitaShell, all you gotta do is just cancel out the FTP server or just close out your USB connection. What we're gonna do now as well, before we get started is to just open up auto plugin .vbk and get that installed first so let's go ahead and do that as well hit x and then once you um have auto plugin .vbk installed we need to go ahead and export our music files into our music folder since um the vita itself has an issue just like transferring over music files into the certain directories that's why we have to export it and i didn't really want to use qcma for this video since i know people have issues with it so you know doing this method is way much faster and it doesn't require qcma but i'll explain on how to basically um you know get our music set up and export it to our music application app itself but um yeah so auto plugin .vbk is fully done it's installed onto our device what we need to do now um is focus on the import music folder so if i scroll over actually to the music folder itself um if i were to place any songs in here it wouldn't load up in the um, actual application so the reason why we need to make this import underscore music folder and you can see that all of my sound files are in here with Vita Show. All we got to do is hit, uh, or excuse me, um, square and highlight all of our files we're going to be transferring over. So if you're going to be doing like a multiple, you may want to hit control or not control, but triangle and then just, you know, copy all. But what we're going to do once you hit triangle, once again, and you have all of your music files highlighted, you want to go into more go into export media and then it's going to ask you do you want to export these files to folders to a media source so that's what we're doing now basically um what it's doing now since we created this import music folder the vita is going or is basically stating to the actual uh you know system application and saying hey we are importing some music files and can you export them to the certain directory for some odd reason, you can't just drag and drop to UX zero music because either a you got to rebuild your database and that takes too long. And plus, sometimes your plugins may run into issues while doing that. So this is basically the you know easiest method on how to do this. So depending on how many music files you may have uh, itself, 
it may take quite a lot or a while but once it's fully done i'm um, exporting all of your stuff um or your music what we're going to do is actually get the app installed itself so five songs has been exported all we got to do now is back out of vita shell open up auto plugin.vbk so my auto plugin is right here open up the app and then once we uh open up auto plugin.vbk go into plugins for vita install plugins once again we're going to scroll all the way down so we find the music premium app so here's the actual application here once again it just enables background music play for any game or application just go and hit x onto it whether you want to install your thero or your thero i install my apps in your thero but once it's, you install that plugin all you got to do is hit start onto your device and hit x and now your playstation vita will restart Alrighty guys, once you restarted your PlayStation 4 via from auto plugin itself, and then you're back onto your Vita, what we wanna do is just go to our music application and let's go ahead and find our music. So we can wanna go to artists. You can also go to songs, I believe, and that's another way on how you can see your music files. I'm just gonna choose any song, so turbo. If I shut up for a second, you can hear it coming from the microphone. So music is working. Now to test if this works within apps, let's go ahead and um, play some Call of Duty. So I'm gonna just shut up for a second so you guys can hear it. And now you can see that, you know, the music is now playing in the background. If you can hear from my microphone, um, I am able to play this via within Call of Duty. If I wanted to go into, I don't know, uh, Gran Turismo, for example, let me just launch that. And then uh, let's say if I wanted to, you know, just play any PS1 title, it works as well. I have um, this running via Adrenaline Bubble, so you can hear, um, you know, it's running just fine within the app. So here's Gran Turismo running with custom music in the background. So if I wanted to do a race or something, I can with my custom music. If I go into out of PSP application, I'll actually go into Adrenaline itself. So you guys can see. Normally, um, you would get this music as paused error um, if you didn't have this plugin installed. But I think, you know, for this uh, plugin itself, uh, it does its job pretty well. So if you wanted to play any type of music. So showcased here i could play you know kingdom hearts within um adrenaline itself and you won't have any issues in terms of like you know hearing other games audio but yeah essentially this is how you set up the app itself let me just go ahead and back out i'll do one more example real quick um i don't think i have retro arc on my this vita because I had to record on my other one since my other one died. But we could do a Vita Shell, for example. So if I wanted to listen to some music in Vita Shell, I can. So here's it running just fine. And if I wanted to just turn off this song, um, just close out the app. But yeah, essentially, this is how you set up custom music on your PlayStation Vita. And you could, you know, allow it to play within system apps. But with that being all out the way, my name is Nagato. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace